In a petition to the Director of Criminal Investigations in the Uganda Police Force, the Masindi Non-Government Organization Forum alleged that two officials incurred unauthorized expenditure of close to 800 million shillings in the financial year 2007-8. stroke eight. Also in contention are vouchers amounting to 73 million shillings that were not availed for audit and 27.5 million spent in advances from the health sector but not accounted for. The five-page petition highlights growth misuse of funds in which over 13 million was spent on paying ghost teachers, 5 million shillings erroneously deducted from teachers in government-aided schools, 7.8 million spent on a VIP toilet without the authority of the chief administrative officer, and over 10 million shillings used to supply banana suckers to non-existing NADS farmers. This gross mismanagement of funds prompted the development network for indigenous voluntary organizations, an umbrella organ of NGOs to set foot in Masindi to chart a way forward on the matter. Things are bad. What have the citizens done? And what they have done, has it been effective? The majority do not vote, especially you, the elites. <laughs> eh? Then afterwards you want to criticize everything, even that his chairman has eaten him, you know? So we do not vote. Peter Coordinator Program Management Unit in the Ministry of Local Government, Asum Taikiriza, acknowledges that a number of inaccuracies exist in local governments, but the challenge lies with conditions attached to donor funds. Local democracy is further disrupted by this swap approach, the sector-wide approach. When the centralization in Masindi would be going in this direction in terms of consolidating funding, the swap is still insisting don't spend our shilling in a certain direction. The new executive director, Professor Jesse Kwesiga, says that unity on the side of NGOs and executive legislature and judiciary in executing their roles would redeem the country from acute mismanagement of public resources. Robert Ronald Manika, WSTV, Masindi.